Metal G or Betelgeuse, a red giant star on the brink. Betelgeuse, a red giant star, is an astronomical marvel. If you put it where the sun is, it would extend out to the orbit of Jupiter. It's enormous, it's very unstable, and it's about to explode. Get ready for a cosmic disaster of never-before-seen scale. Betelgeuse, the red giant star on the edge of our galaxy, is sending frightening signals through space. Astronomers have found something deeply troubling about this massive object. Using the James Webb Space Telescope, renowned scientist Brian Cox has issued a very serious warning. The question that keeps coming up is, are we about to witness a supernova explosion that will change the night sky forever? The enigma of Betelgeuse. In the vastness of the universe, stars are born, live, and die in amazing ways. Recently, one star has caught the attention and concern of both astronomers and the general public. Betelgeuse, a red supergiant star in the constellation Orion, is incredibly massive and ancient. Its unique reddish color and varying brightness have long been intriguing, but recent events have heightened interest in this cosmic giant. As we learn more about Betelgeuse, we are on the verge of a potentially monumental event in its history. But what might these changes in Betelgeuse mean? Are we witnessing the beginning of a cosmic spectacle on an unimaginably huge scale? Betelgeuse's immense size and life cycle. Betelgeuse is a stellar giant, approximately 764 times larger than our sun. Its size is almost beyond human comprehension. Imagine a star so immense that if it replaced our sun, its surface would extend beyond Mars's orbit, enveloping Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. This colossal size not only illustrates the physical grandeur of Betelgeuse, but also indicates its stage in the stellar life cycle. As a red supergiant, Betelgeuse is nearing the end of its life, expanding and cooling after exhausting the hydrogen in its core and fusing helium. The age and evolution of Betelgeuse. What about Betelgeuse's age? This star is estimated to be between 8 and 8.5 million years old. While relatively young in human terms, it is ancient in stellar terms. Over millions of years, Betelgeuse has undergone dramatic transformations, evolving from a hot blue star to the red giant we observe today. It is now in its final stage as a red supergiant. Stars like Betelgeuse change throughout their lives due to the ongoing pressures of nuclear fusion and gravity. Another characteristic that makes this stage of Betelgeuse stand out is its unique reddish color. Its red hue arises from its cooler surface temperature compared to other stars like our sun. Brightness fluctuations and historical records. The sun's surface is around 5,500 Kelvin, while Betelgeuse's surface is about 3,500 Kelvin. This cooler temperature allows Betelgeuse to emit light at wavelengths that make it appear red. However, this color is more than just an appearance. It reveals information about the star's physical state and the processes occurring within its vast gaseous volume. The fact that Betelgeuse's color has changed over time adds to its mystery. Historical records from Roman and Chinese eras indicate that Betelgeuse was yellow around 2,000 years ago. By the 9th century, Arabic astronomers noted its red color. This shift over the course of human history is not merely a historical footnote. It signifies the star's evolution, the great dimming event. Another intriguing aspect of Betelgeuse is its changing brightness. It is a semi-regular variable star, meaning its brightness fluctuates periodically. This rhythmic dimming and brightening has captivated scientists and stargazers for centuries. Typically, Betelgeuse goes through a 400-day cycle and a longer five-year cycle. As early as 1836, Sir John Herschel documented these cycles, and Aboriginal folk histories may date back even further. However, what truly makes Betelgeuse mysterious is not just its brightness changes, but their irregularity. Unlike many stars that vary in brightness predictably, Betelgeuse sometimes deviates from this pattern, suggesting complex and less understood processes within its immense form. Unexpected observations and recent developments. Recently, astronomers and stargazers worldwide were shocked to observe a dramatic and unexpected change in Betelgeuse's appearance. This unprecedented dimming has raised numerous questions and concerns. This is now known as the Great Dimming. In late 2019, the red supergiant Betelgeuse, 
one of the brightest stars in the night sky and a prominent feature of the constellation Orion, began to dim mysteriously. The star was dimming so rapidly that it started losing its light at a rate of 0.01 magnitudes per day on average. By February 2020, it was at its dimmest. The time paradox and monitoring challenges. Betelgeuse, which can usually be seen with the naked eye even in areas with significant light pollution, became much fainter, and even casual observers could notice the difference. The time paradox, however, complicates monitoring Betelgeuse's activities because light takes so long to reach us. When we observe a star like Betelgeuse, we are not seeing it as it is now but as it was in the past. For Betelgeuse, the light we see today left the star almost 700 years ago, as it is about 725 light years away. This time lag makes predicting and monitoring rapid changes in its behavior challenging. Observations and analysis by scientists. The Betelgeuse dimming event highlighted the difficulties of real-time sky observation and our limited understanding of the vast and mysterious realms of space and time they inhabit. Andrea Dupree, Deputy Director of the Center for Astrophysics at Harvard and Smithsonian, and her team closely monitored Betelgeuse's celestial drama as part of a three-year study to track changes in Betelgeuse's outer atmosphere. They used the Hubble Space Telescope to observe the massive star. These observations provided new insights into how a variable star like Betelgeuse operates. Variable stars regularly expand and contract, causing changes in their brightness. Researchers were able to examine the layers above Betelgeuse's surface, heated partially by the star's swirling convection cells. Thanks to Hubble's sensitivity to ultraviolet light, further analysis of Hubble spectra taken at different times in 2019 and 2020 revealed the movement speeds in Betelgeuse's upper atmosphere, the ejection of material and its consequences. The spectra were primarily composed of magnesium, showing that material was moving from Betelgeuse's surface into its atmosphere at about 200,000 miles per hour. This hot, dense material eventually traveled millions of miles away from Betelgeuse, forming the dust cloud that dimmed the star during the three months of the outburst. Dupree and her team estimated that about twice as much material as usual was ejected from Betelgeuse's southern hemisphere. While all stars lose mass over time, Betelgeuse's mass loss was particularly notable because it occurred at a much faster rate than the sun's. Astronomers debated whether this event could signal an impending supernova explosion, given the magnitude of the mass release and the subsequent dimming. Being only about 725 light years from Earth, Betelgeuse adds to the intrigue, as any such explosion would be visible from Earth and offer a rare opportunity to observe a supernova up close. Theories about Betelgeuse's future but the question remains, what does this dimming mean for Betelgeuse's future? Is it a sign of an imminent supernova? Or is it merely a one-time event in the star's long and complex life? Several theories have been proposed to explain this rapid change. One popular theory suggests it was a precursor stage in the supernova explosion process, gaining traction due to the belief that Betelgeuse is nearing the end of its life. Another common theory posits that dust, possibly from the star itself, was obstructing our view. It is known that Betelgeuse and other red supergiants shed material, which could accumulate into a dust cloud thick enough to obscure the star's light. A third theory examined how changes in the star's photosphere, the visible outer layer, might affect its apparent brightness. This puzzle was tackled using a combination of observational techniques and in-depth analysis, spectroscopic studies and findings. Spectroscopic studies indicated that Betelgeuse's effective temperature dropped, suggesting that the star may be dimming due to a large dark spot on its surface. The fact that Betelgeuse's temperature dropped by at least 170 Kelvin around the time of the dimming supported this idea. This indicated significant changes on the star's surface. In the end, the Hubble Space Telescope, humankind's watchdog in space, helped us understand what was happening with this unusual event. Hubble's observations showed that the dimming of Betelgeuse was likely due to a large amount of hot matter being ejected into space. This material formed a dust cloud that obscured part of the star's surface, reducing the amount of light reaching Earth. The dust cloud was believed to consist of very hot plasma that erupted from a large convection cell on the star's surface. As this plasma moved through Betelgeuse's hot atmosphere to cooler outer layers, it formed dust grains that created a cloud blocking light from about a quarter of the star's surface. 
the impact of the ejected material, Hubble's ultraviolet light spectroscopic studies, which began in January 2019, were crucial in piecing together the events leading up to Betelgeuse's dimming. These studies detected dense hot matter moving through the star's atmosphere in the months before the dimming. Several ground-based telescopes also observed the star's brightness decrease in December 2019, with the Hubble observations corroborating the findings and providing further insights into the ejected material. The discovery that Betelgeuse was losing material at a much faster rate than previously thought led to the realization that this rapid mass loss might impact our understanding of stellar evolution, particularly in red supergiants. Comparisons with other supernovae. It is crucial to understand that Betelgeuse is not the only star undergoing such dramatic changes. Other historical supernovae, such as SN1054 and SN1987A, have provided valuable insights into how stars die and how new cosmic entities form. These past events have helped shape our knowledge of stellar deaths and their effects on the surrounding space. For instance, SN1987A, which occurred in a neighboring galaxy, offered a close-up view of a supernova explosion and its aftermath. Such supernovae contribute to the cosmic cycle by dispersing heavy elements and influencing star formation. Potential supernova and its effects. If Betelgeuse eventually becomes a supernova, it would create a spectacular light show visible from Earth. The explosion would be brighter than the moon and might even be seen during the day. Such an event would provide a rare opportunity to study the final stages of a massive star's life as well as the formation of cosmic structures and the spread of heavy elements across the universe. Despite the dramatic nature of a supernova, the distance between Betelgeuse and Earth provides a cosmic shield, ensuring that such an explosion is unlikely to directly harm our planet. The insights gained from observing Betelgeuse's eventual transformation will continue to advance our understanding of stellar evolution and cosmic phenomena. The Role of Red Supergiants in Stellar Evolution Red supergiants like Betelgeuse are critical to our understanding of stellar evolution. These stars represent the final stages of a massive star's life cycle before it undergoes a supernova explosion. Their immense size and relatively short lifespans make them excellent laboratories for studying the end phases of stellar development. Red supergiants are crucial in understanding how massive stars evolve and the processes leading to their explosive deaths. These stars have an enormous impact on their surrounding environments. The energy they release in their final stages contributes to the synthesis of heavy elements, which are essential for the formation of planets and life as we know it. Stellar nucleosynthesis and heavy element formation. The process of nucleosynthesis in red supergiants involves the fusion of lighter elements into heavier ones. During their lifetimes, these stars fuse hydrogen into helium and later, helium into carbon and oxygen. When the star reaches the end of its life, it attempts to fuse even heavier elements. This process results in the creation of elements like iron and nickel, which are then dispersed into space during the supernova explosion. These heavy elements enrich the interstellar medium, contributing to the formation of new stars, planets, and even life. The study of red supergiants like Betelgeuse helps scientists understand the processes that produce these crucial elements and their distribution throughout the galaxy. Implications for Cosmic Chemistry The death of a red supergiant and its subsequent supernova explosion has profound implications for cosmic chemistry. When Betelgeuse eventually explodes, the heavy elements it has synthesized over its lifetime will be scattered into the galaxy. This distribution of elements plays a key role in the chemical evolution of the universe. It influences the composition of new stars and planetary systems, as well as the potential for life. By studying these processes, astronomers gain insights into the history of our galaxy and the conditions that led to the formation of solar systems and habitable planets. Observational techniques for supernova research Understanding supernovae and their precursors involves a range of observational techniques. Telescopes that observe different wavelengths of light, such as optical, ultraviolet, and X-ray telescopes, provide complementary information about these cosmic events. The James Webb Space Telescope, for instance, has advanced our ability to observe distant and faint astronomical objects, offering unprecedented details about the early stages of stellar evolution and supernovae. Ground-based telescopes also play a critical role, 
providing continuous monitoring and contributing to our understanding of variable stars and supernovae. Impact on star-forming regions. The explosion of a red supergiant like Betelgeuse has significant effects on its surrounding star-forming regions. The shock waves from a supernova can trigger the formation of new stars by compressing nearby gas and dust. This process, known as triggered star formation, can lead to the creation of new stellar systems in the aftermath of a supernova explosion. The interaction between the shock wave and the interstellar medium also contributes to the dynamics of the galactic ecosystem, influencing the distribution of matter and energy throughout the galaxy.